to where did we get it from? Right. From the O'Reilly Senior High School yeah. stabbing matter. We have the Sally Fuamuakosan, 16 year old, killing two people and then because the of his recent um, judgment by the, the court. Kaswa, killing. And just yesterday, it was reported that an eight year old boy actually mistakenly, like they say always, mm -hmm. killed his 12 year old brother at the Chifu Atimokwa district. What area. is happening? It has to wake up to find out that the Ghanaian child who should be enjoying their innocence and childhood have become a murderer, rising juvenile crimes. Where did we get it wrong? Kingsley. My boss. Where did we get it wrong? Hmm. I've been sad for a couple of weeks now and it breaks my heart that as a country we've gotten here, rampant juvenile crimes, and I don't know, like you asked, where did we get it wrong? Right. From the O'Reilly Senior High School yeah. stabbing matter, we have the Sally Fuamuakosan, 16 year old, killing two people and then because the of his recent um, judgment by the, the court. Kaswa, killing. And just yesterday, it was reported that an eight year old boy actually mistakenly, like they say always, mm -hmm. killed his 12 year old brother. At the Chifu Atimokwa district. What area. is happening? If you ask me, I think it's parenting. How? The parenting in this time and in the moment as we have it is terrible. Okay. I think this generation of parents are failing the next. I won't even say they will fail, they have failed the next. Why do you say that? Ah, isn't it obvious by the crimes and the nonsense we are seeing all over our media spaces these days? Mm. See, I, I have done some observations and I've come up with some pointers I feel and I'm going to tell you why parents of this era have failed the next. Okay. So my first point would be lack of emotional support and presence, right? Right. These days in in the country or in the environment we find ourselves, everybody's looking for money. Money is good. But the child or the children you bring on this earth, make sure that you have time for them. Mm. Even if it's not you, get a relative, get your mother, get mm. your father or your, mm. your, your partner's mother or father to be there for the children. Yeah. These days, we buy material things for children and we think that is love. Yeah. So the child has this uh, tablet, laptop, a room to themselves, and you think you've done a lot for the child. You are actually not being a parent. You are not being a good parent, mm. I should say. Mm. Because you're only substituting that with gifts and you know making the, the support the emotional support of saying oh let me go and tell let me go and tell my mom about what happened yeah. in school let me go and tell my mom about that uncle that touched me inappropriately mm. it's not there wow. they wake up at dawn and they leave so by the time they come back the kids are asleep mm. who is training your kids for you mm. the house help you have in your house how are you sure that the house help is not teaching them to be wayward another point i have is the lack of supervision for technology use mm. I was, I was listening to a radio show the last time where a man, they were having a discussion about the Salifu Amarco San issue and the man happily was saying that me, for instance, we shouldn't blame the, the parents too much because he doesn't even know what his child does on social media. He doesn't follow any of his accounts. And I said, wow. Wow. And you are proudly saying this on radio. <laughs> See, we I are if, if there is anyone that would be interested in knowing which uh, social media they are on, what they are doing the online, parents. you know, these days there are restrictions for a lot of things. Right? Why should a twelve-year-old be seen watching something on a pornographic website when you have parents? Mm. And the worst of it all is they will tell you. We were not born in the technology era and we don't know. Your fellow mates are on TikTok doing video. You don't need to type English. All you have to do is even set a camera in front mm. of you, speak the language you are okay in, and people would understand. Mm. As a parent, you have to make sure that you follow your child on all social media platforms. These days, there are many ways to even track your kid's activity on his or her phone. Mm. So if I say parents have failed in this era, these are some of the reasons. Why should you be in Accra and your child is in UCC schooling and the child is putting stuff on Snapchat, putting stuff on WhatsApp status, and because you, you were not born in the technology era, you think it's okay. So you are here giving your child, you in your mind, giving your child a Christ-like education. 
or Islamic education and the child is in UCC doing other things because you don't monitor, you don't know. Mm. The people around you know because they see it on the WhatsApp status, but you, the parents. Another point is they model their parents' bad behavior. Right. In some homes, in some homes, I am sure that aggression is like the the love they speak in their <laughs> houses, right? So Ballless. you do something and you get a slap. You do something, you get abusive, mm. uh, 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 you get abused by the language they use and all of that. So in some of the homes, the children are actually modeling their parents. The domestic abuses that are happening in their houses, that is what is translating into but, this. But the good, the good book says that spare the rod and spoil the child. So we overemphasize on discipline without actually disciplining our children in terms of understanding. Okay. I don't know if I'm, I'm making sense. We overemphasize discipline mm -hmm. without actually understanding our children. Or our children. Yeah. Sorry. Right. So when you want to discipline your child, when you beat me, mm -hmm. I should be able to understand that I beat you because you stole meat in the soup. Mm -hmm. And not because okay. you, you are angry from work. And because I am making noise and you have to work on your laptop, I receive a slap. You know, talk. most of us, in fact, between you and I, we all, we, all of us have this experience of how we were beaten ones that till date you ask yourself, why did my mother, my guardian, my father beat me because of that thing? I still don't understand. Mm. Most of the viewers will have that experience. Mm. And that also contributes to the kids we are, we are raising. Amazing. So, like I mentioned, if you are, domestic uh, abuse is happening in your house, your, your father or your mother beats whoever, yeah. in this case, Definitely. to the point where they even strangle them. Don't you think the kid is watching yeah. their scene? Yeah. I mean, I, I totally agree with you because as young as they are, those are their formative years. Yeah. So whatever they see, they are quick to... You know, they are, they are very impressionable. Yeah. So it's, it's, yeah. it's understandable. So, mm. and, and to say, talking about discipline, I, I, I totally agree. And in my opinion, I feel that the discipline um, or the responsibility doesn't lie only with the parent. Mm. Okay? But the parents are also operating in a society. There's a reason why we have the statement or the saying that charity begins at home. Okay. Before you took that child to that school, mm. the child at least stayed with you for a year, some two years. Mm. These days, because of the work and the monies we are looking for, three months, we send them there. But still, it started from your home. Right, right, right. Speaking of home, for me, when, when we were growing up, you were not allowed to watch TV from Monday to Thursdays because they are school going days. So you get to watch from Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday, you don't watch, right? Now, that is a parent taking responsibility of the child, what the child would watch. But beyond that, now... No, I actually disagree with you. Not watching TV from Monday to no, no, Thursday I'm, I'm, I'm making a doesn't point. change anything. The challenge we are having now is the exposure they have in terms of social media, in terms of the website, because they have gadgets. Okay, so you wrap up on the point yeah, of so bad parenting and then I'll come in. And do. In, in all of this, mm. I am saying that if as parents we want to see change, mm. ah, we hear some of these heinous crimes and you see, oh, maybe a 45 year old, a 35, but now the crimes are being committed by 16 year olds. Mm. 12 years, like, how did we get here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you are interested and you give birth, make sure that you have time for that child mm -hmm. because what you are nurturing, that monster you are nurturing at home mm -hmm. cannot come and and, and and give us stress because you did not tame that monster from the beginning when you had the chance to. Mm -hmm. Because it affects everybody. Right, right. So I think that is clear. It is clear that, of course, parents would have to do more. And for me, the point I'm trying to make is that beyond parents doing more, mm. they operate in a society. And that society would also have to take responsibility just to match those efforts by the, the society, parents. The, the, the society we live in now, now you are not even allowed to correct your neighbor's child. 
so, so you, you see, are not even allowed to do so. Times have changed. Keep, you know, your it, child is holding the stick. Yes. Hitting another kid with it. And all the mother says is, stop, don't do that again. In the very light and uh, light tone, and then you, you just go on with your life. The next day, it will be you. Right. So, you know, back then, we would all, we would all agree times have changed. Mm. Back then, it takes a whole community to even yeah. raise a child. But now times have changed. And I am saying that in these changing times, mm. where the child is exposed to a whole lot of things, mm. especially with the springing up of social media, mm. there is no limitations to what they are exposed to. So then, the parents can put in all the efforts by preventing the child not to do this, not to do this. But the society in which they operate, if it also doesn't match up to the effort of the parent, I don't think we would then see real results. So what am I saying? All mm. I am saying is that institutions like NCA, of course, they, re they, they have to be up and doing. True. It's not just about banning programs on uh, TV stations, but they, there should be an advanced effort of enforcing them so that even if a parent in his disciplinary nature wants this kid not to be exposed to TV, let's say for the whole week, but maybe be exposed over the weekend, it will surprise you that he might come across something on that TV over the weekend that could change or alter his life forever. So whilst an, a parent is also making this effort to make sure that my kid is not exposed to everything, the time I give him to get to watch these things, now that power then would now be in the hands of NCA to make sure that there are good programs that would not influence this child for him to think that I can commit crime and still be fine. So all of these exposures have contributed to that. So the point I am making is simple, that parents can put in every other effort, right? But if the society doesn't also do a due diligence so that it would match up with the effort of the parents, then our work would be zero. On that score, I agree with you to a large extent. But you know, as we have it now, our laws do not have anything to govern social media. Mm. That's why I'm saying that as a parent, mm. that gadget, that tablet you gave your son or daughter, mm. that uh, laptop you bought for them, mm. why can't you restrict them? For instance, if they like watching videos on YouTube, why don't you restrict, uh, restrict them to just YouTube kids? Mm. Why are they able to see uh, uh, adult content when they go on YouTube? Mm. There are so many ways, but you see, the current generation of this parent, they don't want to learn. All they think about is, I am providing for the kids. That is not enough. Yeah. So you're f How are you able to let your child confide in you to say, okay, today when I went to school, yeah, you know. When you are driving them and you ask them today when I went to school or when you the kid went to school, what what happened? Oh, we studied, we did this, we did that. You should be able to look inside your child's face and ask them eyeball to eyeball, are you okay? Mm. Did something happen? Confide in me. They don't get that chance. Mm. So you as a parent, you have a lot to do because see, school, you will finish and you move on. Yeah. The upbringing you get. Yeah. The upbringing you get from your childhood up until you finish your university to get your degree, you will still leave the school at some point in time. Yeah. That so, monster mm, I keep saying that you didn't take will grow up to become an adult monster and you'll be living with that monster in your house, mm, just preying on other people's children. Yeah. yeah. And of course something to the society. I I, I I agree, I agree. And 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 for me, I, I this is what I have to say that look, it's a collective effort. I feel like any parent that raise a kid that feel like he can take another man's life or another person's life have failed as a parent. I think, yes, society would would condemn, would say all oh, the, the bad things, listen, but listen, in the listen, end... Don't compare your kid to another kid and say, have you seen Asumesi's son? Honestly, have that thing, doing well? it only have demoralizes seen? people. I, I don't have really see the, the motivation in that. Bringing in money, building for... Do you know where that kid is getting mm. the money from? Mm. We should mm. stop giving mm. pressure mm. or putting pressure on our kids. Yes. It is not healthy. Yeah. 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 It is not. Yeah, because you why would a kid at this age mentally. feel that I need money? Yes. You know? Why would a kid at this age feel like... So it's true. Apart Take the, the pressure money, of the kids. Apart from the money, that's, that's a, a, a parental thing where 
<laughs> you have a child, you think your child is not good enough, and you are comparing it to so-called good child. Mm. Some of us grew up with some people. Where are they today? Yeah, yeah. You don't know you don't know how big your child will become. Mm. Don't belittle them. They are fixed their mental health. So you heard Kingsley, don't belittle them. Parents, make sure you take responsibility of your kids because if we have good citizens in society, we will always be grateful to you. But if we have evil men in society, definitely we would always question the source. Well, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And whilst you're doing that, don't forget to recommend this channel to a friend, a brother. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. So we come your way next time. Have a great week. We out.